Guys, we're back. Tom C's been drinking Surge for two whole days, and he's wired. Uh, I'm like... Drop, drop Tao and show me a little... Of I'm more Surge than man, guys. <laughs> Not true. I would be Ca Lieutenant Surge, then. Yeah, that's very fair. Very fair. I should get this DLC done, because it's garbage. Why am I playing if it's garbage? To show you. To show you what you should never be. Do it open. You must know that you must never be as bad as this DLC. Yeah. What if you were a gym leader, Tom? What would you? What would you be your specializations? Could do dark and fire. Like Hound Doom would be my main guy. Right. Maybe maybe sad Pokemon. <laughs> Dude, like you got your Marowak. I can't believe, my favorite Pokemon. Everyone knows. I can't believe that there's not like because like they're all elemental based. Like you think you could have like the dogs. Yeah, yeah, the dog, the dog gym leader, like Houndoom, Arcanine, and more of them. Well, I think it's because they want people to ha know what to bring against them. I know, but, but like, that seems lame. Yeah. Why? Why did that happen? Because he moved away from the door. I guess. Samurai. Dude, you know what's on? Um. I really want that carbine. You know what's on Netflix now? Samurai Champloo. No, well, that's been on for a while. But Samurai Jack, the first, like, two seasons. Listen, I can't watch it. I really went to town on that guy. Come on! Dude, Samurai Jack is so good. How many seasons of Samurai Jack were there? Uh... I want to say... I don't really four? need to do this anyway. No, you're doing the classic Tom C. I'm just going to leave strategy. Yeah, why do I got to fight everybody? Let's all be friends. First floor. If I were if I were first floor, how would I get there? I gotta jump down. Oh, yeah. Really, you're not gonna let me do that? I think there's an elevator you got to or something. I'm gonna survive that jump. Oh, f you! Guys. I was totally right. Four seasons. Four seasons of thirteen episodes. That's that's a lot. These dudes are all over me. Dude it had a uh, John DiMaggio. Really? Yeah, he was the Scotsman. F that. I need. I did know that. Yeah. <sighs> Guys, this is looking really bad. Everyone, everyone knows. Everyone knows that the Scotsman is the Wrong best. Place. The best uh, Samurai Jack sporting character. What about? No, that, that's that's the only one I could think of. Yeah, I, 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 he's like literally. He's like really the only recurring. Character. There's probably other ones. But not really. You have you have Jack, you have a coup. You have uh, the Scotsman. That's pretty much it. The evil that is a coup. Dude, Samurai Jack that was definitely one of the reasons I got into anime. Like I I bet you it's the reason a lot of people did. Like cla like classic anime. Cuz like I started watching Dragon Ball Z, but like that's it's like a different kind. You know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, I didn't, I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. Also, uh, Jack is voiced by Vamp. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, it's Phil Lamar. Same guy. Phil Lamar's great. And funny. Recently, I, disco I discovered... Uh, this is going to sound not good. On Mad TV, there was two like leading black dudes. Yeah, one of them was Phil Lamar. And the other one... Yeah, the other one was someone I don't remember. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, the other day, I found his, his ALS challenge video... And it's it's so embarrassing. Cause here's the deal. Oh, the other guy. Yeah. He uses that as a platform for like social stuff. He doesn't actually do it. He like dumps something else on his ha head, and he's like, "Uh, guys, right now I know this is a problem, but Ferguson's a bigger deal." Which of course is true. Yeah. But it's a stupid thing. First of all, I don't care about this ALS thing at all. But like, dude, who cares? Okay, I mean, yeah, Ferguson, Ferguson was a big deal. But you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, I'm gonna ruin everyone's fun and tell you about something you should pay more attention to than dumping. Dude, that's what, that's what Matt Damon did. Really? Dude, remember he used uh, toilet water instead of real water? Yeah, don't, I didn't watch that. Well, I didn't watch it either, but I know they did it because they talked about it. Because he was just like, yeah, it's cool that people are doing this, but there are people in the world who don't have access to clean drinking water. So that's why I'm using dirty, dirty toilet water for this. <laughs> I like that. Dirty, neat. dirty celebrity toilet. It's like water. that's neat. Yeah, I like that. I can respect that. 
Ah. And then in India, they started doing the rice bucket challenge, which was basically... It's <laughs> not really a challenge at all. No, it was ba no, it was basically we're gonna hand you some rice. It was we're gonna go up, go and find less fortunate people and give them a bucket of rice, because a we don't have enough clean water and b people need rice more than they need ale. That's cured. Yeah. No, it was that was cool. Those people are smart. But you know whatever. I just thought it was like a weird thing. I I don't remember that guy's name. Hound Houndoom. Arcanine, Stoutland, this must be one of the new ones. One of Mighty Ian is a good call. Yeah, of uh, course. Mega Mana Trick? Could have Zigazoon. Yeah, you could. He's more of a, ra uh, of a raccoon. You could have uh, Snuffbull, remember that guy? Yeah. He's the he's the, the bulldog this, with a dress the, on. Is this a game with the, uh, there's like a bathysphere repair area? Yeah, I think that's this one. Oh, boy. It's either this one or the next one. That part was stupid. I like thought it was Dishonored, and I'm like, it wasn't this bath of fears in Dishonored. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember the one part in Dishonored where like, yeah, I don't know what she looks like, but she's got a sweet butt. <laughs> yeah, who are they talking about? They're, it's Lady Boyle. Oh, Airy Spear. Good call. Uh, yeah, that's who it is. Good. No, it wasn't Airy Spears. It was the other guy. What? There are three guys. Airy Spears is cool. He's still cool. Airy Spears was the Tracy Morgan of that show. I think that's fair to say. <laughs> yeah, I know it's fair to say. It was the other black dude. I don't know who that is. You'll know it the second you see it. Do you know who you know who I do love though? Will Sasso. Yeah, I wish he did more stuff, but I don't think he has to. No, I think he's good. Because he was in Three Stooges, they probably paid him for that. I heard that movie was pretty good. Like it was, it was a good. I feel it was a good Three Three Stooges movie. Really? Also, I like your idea. That you make fairy Pokemon strong against dragon Pokemon. I like that. My idea? No, it's some guy on the stream. Why is, why is that a good idea? I think it's neat. Because like a mythical thing. Are you fairies know? supposed to be strong against dragons? Yeah, I think it's neat. Um, what was I going to say? Um, what were we talking about right before this? Also, I know this might be a little uncouth of me to say... But they, they boobed her up in this game, right? They boob Elizabeth up? Yeah. She's probably uh, at least D in this game. Yeah. She was in, not... in the other one, she was probably a B cut. And admittedly, maybe it's because she's probably wearing, like, 50s, like... They made her hips They made her hips smaller, too. And her waist is way smaller. Yeah. I think. Oh, this is just great. Well, it's she's supposed to be a, a bodacious... Yeah, she's supposed to be a femme, 50s, fatale, a femme yeah. fatale type. As opposed to the other game where she was a... I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Man, what was I gonna say? Oh, the reason I'm not allowed to like um, Three Stooges is because apparently my my boy Tom Cavanaugh applied for it and he er, not applied auditioned for it and didn't get it. I still feel like he would not be the same. I feel like no. he wouldn't be good for the role. I don't know. I don't know what role he wanted. I imagine he'd be uh, Larry. Yeah, because he doesn't strike me as a mo. I know, but listen. I just have to, I, ha I have to have my, my, my boys back. Even though he doesn't know who I am. Oh, apparently fairy types legitimately beep dragon Pokemon now. That's a thing that happens. Yeah, I thought so. I just made that up. I acted like I knew what I was talking about. China Broom. China Broom. Dude, you know what's super sweet about Bioshock 2? All of the weapons. Yeah, they were all sweet. Dude, because the shotgun was awesome. I'm sorry, the assault rifle was a turret that was ripped off. Yeah, also the shotgun the shotgun was a double barrel shotgun that then you got two three cylinder crazy things attached yeah, to like it. Yeah, like flipped in an awesome way. Yeah. Uh we're doing pretty good. Yeah, I think you're almost done. Yeah, I could go get the um the Mesmatron, whatever it is. I think that's in the other game. Nah, this is this one. Hey, this guy's back. Hey, I'm walking over Rise here. Rise into the top. Oh, sorry, honey. Who's right here? <laughs> I assumed she was hostile. Shotgun makes a mean sound, though. Yeah. No, I really like the fact that it's just like, it's pretty much just a blunderbuss in this. In I'm sorry. These are fresh. I don't think they are. I think that's the opposite. Hey, baby. 
Like it, like it, like it's it's just a blunderbuss, right? Uh, it's pretty close. It's well, it's lever action, so no. Well, yeah, but like I'm talking. Look at that barrel shape. Yeah, it, it's crazy. I really need you guys to cool it. Every hit's like knocking me out. It's killing them instantly. Yeah, the Metrotron's right there. I, I don't know the passcode, though. Nor do I need it, because I only need to close vents. What is that thing in there? It's a radar range. If we could figure out if the thing's designed to cook a turkey or a splicer. Damn, door's got a key code lock. Go ahead. No way to get in without knowing what it is. You can't hold kits in this game. No. That's kind of annoying. Anyway. Yeah, Mesotron's uh, not good, so we're not going to take it. My hands into the top box. Paper. Anyway, we're doing great. We're really getting through it. All right, here's my real question. Yes. Did anyone ever in the history of warfare have a cooler nickname than Stonewall Jackson? Because I don't think anyone ever did. Like, uh, like, the, like I'm talking like that's what you were known for, known as. Like I'm not talking like some, like nickname that some people refer to as. Like, everyone knows him as Stonewall Jackson. That's what his name is. Yeah. I forgot this was a thing. Oh, that's where the mods come from. Neat. Uh, I could use more of that. Also, I have a zillion dollars, so thanks. Um. Because I always like, um. The guy who finally defeated Hannibal during the Pun Second Punic War. Um. The name of. They gave. He was Scipio Africanus. And Africanus is like. It's an. It's called an agnomen. It's, whoa, 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 whoa! It's the nickname that that Roman conquerors got for like doing for being really great. Yeah. So like basically like you got Africanus because like you fought and won a lot of battles in Africa. Yeah, like a lot of people named Germanicus and stuff because people fought with Germans. Yeah. I always thought that was neat. Is it always called Africa? Yeah, I think I guess that was the the Roman Latin name, name for it. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Isn't that nuts? Vlad the Impaler is a badass name. Good call. I was gonna say that too, but I didn't. I didn't know if that was a war name or just a, a different thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's the point of decoy if it's gonna shoot at me? Good call. Good call, guy. Alexander the Great is good. I was gonna say that one too, because Suleiman the Magnificent. Yeah, that's a good one. Con all conqueror names are good. All the conqueror. Yeah, but the thing is, like, like nobody else is Stonewall. You, you know, you have to stop. That's true. Also, to be fair, I don't think I. I think there are a few people who have the name the Great who deserve it. You think so? Like, like I feel like it's a little overused. Like, because everybody wants to be the Great. It's true. But like, how about, the, how about that, Lionheart? That's that is good. Is that King Richard something? Richard the Third, yeah. yeah. Or Richard the First, sorry, Richard the Third with the the other guy. Um. Obviously, Alexander. Surprise! Obviously, Alexander the Great deserved it because he was like he was literally the coolest. He was person. he was like the greatest conqueror the world's ever seen. Yeah. What about? I don't know. There's a lot of cool names. Does uh, Simo Simo Haya the White Death count? Um, no, because that's not like in his name. You know, I'm talking to people like. Oh, you, you mean like you, when you're referring to them, you call them by their nickname. How about that great emancipator Abraham Lincoln? Actually, someone put Honest Dave on here, which made me laugh. Honest Dave isn't bad if you think honesty is cool. Do you like Honest Dave a lot? Gotta remember where these are. Uh, I, don't, I don't remember what it was, but it made me laugh. I'm it sorry. Was, it, was, uh, it was George Wa George Washington and Abraham Lincoln both came back to life, and they both became good friends because they were both so honest. <laughs> How about... Like, you know, I could... They called me Honest Abe. Well, I could never lie because I chopped down a cherry tree and then became friends. By the way, I never understood that cherry tree thing. Yeah, I think it's just one oh, of those. Because he didn't lie to his own mother? It was dad. Yeah, who. What? I should hope that he wouldn't lie to his mom or dad. Did you know that Robert E. Lee buried uh, George Washington's granddaughter, I think? Really? Yep. I'm in trouble. Like it doesn't do a lot of damage, it just kind of bothers you. Uh, it does bother me. Crap. Okay. And should, I should have got that samurai on the job. Luckily, she takes $12 every time or whatever. 
Here we go. Suleiman the First was also called the Lawmaker. That's his. Uh, what about Bayezid the Thunderbolt? That's pretty cool. He, uh, the the um. He might not always be called the Thunderbolt. Oh, Dexter's Lab. Good call, guy. It was on Dexter's Lab where, where Abraham Lincoln became friends. Yeah. And Mandark brought Mount Rushmore to life. That's exactly what episode yeah, that was. You're right. Um. Yeah. Get the samurai on the job. Samurai Jack. Samurai. Use your old school Bushido. I'll do my part. I wonder why you couldn't have just done that from the very beginning. Uh, little anticlimactic, I would say. Uh, You're really taking his time on this mo on this monologue. You saying this mission? I meant, I meant no, because it takes forever to close the vent. He's like, oh yeah, it's like it's like a full on skinematic, it's raging full on. <laughs> That's a Mike Watt album. We were both, <laughs> both on top of jokes there. I think it's a Mike Watt album. I think it's called Raging Full On. I heard some. Uh, I like I like this conversation though. Dude, no, the best part about Samurai Jack is the uh, is before the opening title, where. Uh, with the Aku's doing his intro, that's the best part. Everyone knows that. Which part is that? The, the part, the, the opening part. It's the part they do it every episode. The evil that is. Yeah. Aku. That opening, that opening soliloquy is the best part. Yeah. He has a fun accent. He, that's because it's he's Japanese. He's a Japanese guy. Is he supposed? Are they all supposed to be actually Japanese? Yeah. Jack's 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 Japanese. I think you can pick this. Oh, this won't take long at all. This won't take long at all. Oh. I don't remember this part. <laughs> really? You mean it? <laughs> I tried so hard to reduce to fit into this gown. I just wanted to look beautiful for you. Surprise helmet. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got that. That's right. pretty cool, actually. Right away, right there at the cashmere. Sitting with that horrible girl. Who's fighting? Yo, dude. We were totally cool until right then. Next time, I'll be sure to ask. Da, da, da. It's just been revoked. Anyway, you guys don't have an event here, so we're gone. That's really unfortunate. What happened to that guy? I like, I like blew the. How whole... strong is this gun for some now, reason? For some reason, uh, China Broom's on it. Oh yeah, I got secret moves. Hey, pal. What I think is happening, and what makes me really happy, is I think since it shoots multiple pellets, they're doing different elements for each time. I would like that, because it seems to be solving some problems. It really is. To be fair, it was solving some problems before. Yeah. Some um, enemy living related problems. Which was a problem. Yeah, obviously. I heard somebody say, Burn, baby, burn. My shotgun is crazy. Burn, baby, burn. Use that shotgun now. <laughs> Two. I wonder if people ever got... I wonder if how uh, much of a concern the Benz was in, in Rapture. Ah, uh, dude, you know they had oranges. Oranges, the new black. No shot. What, what does that have to do with Benz? It's like Scurvy, right? No, it's different. Why did to defeat the Frosty Star still again? He already did that. He wants to go again. It's, it sounds delicious. Do you have the ability to... I don't know why... I, don't know why I, I didn't know my objective could change. That I didn't either. Delicious. Especially once you... Especially because you already completed this one. Speaking weird. of things that are completed... This what? episode is. Wow! Guys, we're going to catch you later. We'll see you guys.